all right what is up guys it's me third division we're back playing some division craft and we're in my testing world because and let me turn on my webcam hey what's up because we are working on a new build so i've been doing a lot of uh work on my minecraft builds but this time i want to kind of do a decorative style create build and i'm going to show that off right here uh this is going to be a water tower this is my first uh test to try and see what i wanted to do and i don't really like it at all to be honest i mean i kind of like the outside but this is way too small i thought to myself this is cool but it's way too small i want to go big i want it to be able to be seen so this is kind of my first example and over here this is probably what i'm going to go with so this isn't the finished i gotta you know decorate it. i gotta surround it and stuff but the way this is going to work, and this is actually how water towers work. So they have two chambers, they have two pipes inside the middle. One goes up to bring the water, one goes down to take the water out. So this one on the left is going to be the up. It goes into this one, which is connected to all of them. See, this one's connected to this one, which is connected to this one, which is connected to this one. And this is the one that will fill up. And when this one's done, this one will fill up, and so on and so on. So that's the design I have right there. And uh, underneath, this is how it's all powered. Pretty simple. I like it a lot. And then at the very bottom here, I have these two uh, valves so I can turn them on and off. For instance, if I wanted to start redirecting power, not power, I want to start redirecting water, I can just turn that. And it should start, yep, start flowing out. Now I wonder, will it actually pop out of this right here? And then if I turn it off, oh, oh, it is. Okay, I stand corrected. So yeah, that's how this is going to work. Also, uh, the way I'm going to be getting most of, my, most of my water is I'm going to connect the pipes all the way to an ocean because if the body of water is big enough, it won't actually suck up the water. It considers it an infinite source. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do that. And yeah. I will probably need a lot more copper. I mean, how, I, how much copper am I going to need for this? So that's three by five. I'm going to need a lot of copper. And then all for the pipes. Yeah. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can uh, execute that. All right. So here's my thing. I just don't know where I'm going to put the water tower. So because another thing I have to think about is where I'm going to route the water to. But, you know, that might be something I have to worry about later. I could just combine with uh, these down here, maybe. There's my gold farm, hopefully working well. Let's see, let's see what we got right now so we can compare. Okay, 19 gold. Whenever we get done over here, this is a laggy section. Whenever we get done over here, we can turn that back. 70% of the power, and that is filling up a lot. Dang. We actually might be making too much kelp. I might have to just use up all the power just to keep it you know from overflowing uh what else what else what else what else so i see how i got this set up this would be a great this would be a great place to put you know the pipes like right underneath that but it's just you know i don't know uh do i want to put it over here next to the orchard orchard oh shad that might this is actually a pretty nice looking spot it's kind of circular. It's got a little curve to it. Back up a little bit more. I think this would be a great spot for it. And then I can just route the uh, the water down here. All kinds of stuff. I think it would be cool. And this is not in the crate mod. I think it would be cool if you could. Because there are nozzles. Let me look it up. Yeah, there's, there is a nozzle. And I think this is just for uh, fans. So you can like spray air but also i'm pretty sure it's for potion effects so you can do that too although one thing i am gonna have to test is if this is a big enough uh body of water right here to be considered infinite i'm really hoping it is i mean i mean it should be it does stretch all the way down here and all the way up there it's gonna really suck if i had to like you know go over here just to get my water but hopefully everything can be or hopefully everything can stay within one chunk or not even chunk, but hopefully everything can stay within, you know. Alright, I'm just going to assume that this is the best place right here. And if I bring all this out. Yep, just put that there. 
Hmm. That's about center, right? Or would this look better if I did it like... I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to change if we don't like how it looks. It's kind of like a rope pulley. Hose pulley. Okay. The only thing about this is now I got a route power all the way over here. See, I originally planned for today maybe like working on... Like decorating the island. But then I was like, oh, a water tower would be cool. Maybe we should make one of those. And I thought... What about an actual water tower? You know? Because my first thought was like make a water tower that looks cool. But then I realized, oh no, you can make an actual water tower. Alright, that wasn't smart. I wonder when I'm going to forget that I'm wearing like super super fast boots and stuff. Alright, that's there. Now I just got to route power. Do you have a chain drive? Chain drive would look better probably. I don't know. I use a belt. Who cares? This is probably all going to get fixed anyways. Yeah, probably going to need a lot more. A lot more of this. Damn. Also, yeah, this is probably going to be better. If I, This is really... To be honest, this is just really to test if it works. If it does work, I'll probably put it lower. Okay, it's all hooked up. And it is working. Now, is it infinite? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta ride the wire and... It's not telling me it's infinite, which makes you think, which makes me think it isn't. I don't see water getting sucked out. Is water flowing through? No, it's not. So hose pulley is connected. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm fucking stupid, mate. I gotta put one of these. And is it working? I don't know if it's working. Oh, it's probably backwards. Yep. Guys, I'm so stupid. The target body of fluid is considered infinite. Let's go, dude. And there goes the water right there. Now we can go about hiding this part underground. All right, now time to do some digging. We're laying pipe, boys. All right, so I turned some lights on behind me. You'll notice that difference. But here is the trench that I just dug. I don't know why this is still here. Uh, this is the trench I just dug. That's about how deep I think it needs to go. It's going to run all the way down here. And yeah, it looks about right. Eh. I'm not gonna measure it, but it looks about even in the middle between these two. But yeah, it's gonna go about right here. And then right there, we're gonna see that sticking out. It's kind of annoying that it's sticking out, but I think it has to, technically. But then again, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think that's deep enough. And then we're gonna run. We found it. We're gonna run the pipes right here. And now I gotta find what the perfect spot to start going up at. Unless I just want to do it right here. And this will be the going in spout. And then right next to it will be go the going down spout. So let me just go ahead and make that clear. Come on. And what's funny and interesting is I can actually do this right here. Let me take one of these vertical gearboxes. Put you right there. And now we'll have directional power going up. So that now we can control whether it's going up or going down. Let's go. I also have to figure out how tall I'm going to want to make this. So, hmm. I think I should go ahead and just start um, automatically powering this. Just so I can get a good estimate as to when... Uh, stuff's going to stop and continue going. And the perfectly good mechanical belt. Dude, when I found out you could use mechanical belt to transfer power, that changed the game for me. That changed the entire game for me. Alright, this all should be good. Now the only thing is, whenever I find a spot that it's going to stall at, I have to dig up around it. Power's all good. Why are you why why do you idiots always get trapped here? What are you what are you gonna drop for me? Run flesh? Sure. Cool. Alright, now I gotta set this up correctly. So this should be the same level. Alright. And now all I gotta do is combine one of these again. Hold up. And now all I gotta do is place one of these. Bam. Connect that. And then connect these two points. 
And now... I'm guessing that should be working. Oh, what's up? What's one of those guys? And nope, it's going the wrong direction. Which is an easy fix. All I gotta do is place down one of these. Hmm. Maybe I am stupid. Or did I just forget to do the exact same thing? Oh, I am stupid because that's on the bottom. It doesn't have a place to go. Wow. Okay. That went over my head. Good thing, though, is this should be able to just do this. And then I replace that. Hold up. I replace that. And now I can just place them like that. Perfect. And then place one of these. And it's good. All right. And then I'll be able to know whenever it stops, which I think it might be right there. All right. I got to go kill those guys and then drink this milk. But I'll be able to use my shotgun this time. There we go. Drink this milk. And don't have to worry about a raid. So I think I got the beginnings of this done. I am wondering though, would it would it look better if I Okay, I just realized I have this way off now that I'm actually down here looking at it. So that's supposed to be over to the left, yeah. Okay. Well, make my way back up there all right hard at work so i've got it all hooked up it is now going all the way from the water tower itself coming down all the way to my base and if i'm being honest i don't even know what i'm going to use it for i'm thinking since i have it coming out right here or around this area i should put my potion station whenever i get around it finally doing that i've been putting that off forever but i'll probably just put that over there so yeah, now we just got to work on the actual look of the water tower. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. It's going to be mainly wood. But I think all the tanks are filled up. Looks like it. Yeah, they're all filled up. If that one's filled up, that means that one's filled up. Considering that's the uh, one that goes inside. So the water tanks all filled up. I had to, uh, or didn't have to, but I decided to activate all of my power generators because... It was getting like 80 something percent and now we're back at around 60 percent Ooh, something keeps activating turning on and off hmm either way uh these are all working we're we're making around 196k damn and i also have this set up to where if i wanted to i could also start putting uh these on the other side too so to have a double on both sides but i don't think we're gonna have to for now this is the backup right here of dried kelp i think if we get to a point where this thing's getting like almost filled up then i might just have to start like you know adding more power i mean i'm gonna end up using it eventually probably if i'm gonna work you know run all of my machines at the same time all right so i have surrounded this thing with some dirt because I don't feel like, you know, making scaffolding. And I can pretty much get rid of this pretty easily. So what I'm going to be do... What I'm going to be do? What I'm going to be do? What I'm doing is I'm going to cover this up. And then figure out where inside this... What it's going to look like. But first, I'm going to cover it all up with oak planks. And then work from that way out. Because I'm not... It's not like I'm ever going to come back in here. You know, it's just... It holds water. It's cool. You can see that there is water in here. And, you know, the copper looks cool and everything. But it's at the end of the day, it's going to be surrounded by wood. So I'm just going to be using just boring old oak planks. And if I want to change that later, I can, you know, obviously do that. So, yeah, I'm going to work on this. All right. So I've gotten the main body down for the actual containers themselves. It kind of feels a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. I mean, compared to me, it's big. But you know what? I, I, you know, it's not a big town. It's just my town. So I think that'll do. And now I got to get rid of all this stuff. But on top of this, I got to worry about 
Like what? Oh, for a second I thought it wasn't working. Uh, now I gotta worry about the legs itself. How I'm gonna do that? Oh shit. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna end up dying for this is over. I wish I could just zap them like in the air. Actually, let me test that out. Nope, I was wondering if I could zap because when I zap stuff, I change what I can shoot. Okay. I want to get rid of all this and then I get to see what it looks like when it's just floating and then I can work on the legs All right, so standing back and looking at it actually can I actually you know what I Kind of thought it might look bad, but I actually like how it looks And see then I just gotta add little legs and then we got ourselves our little water tower I Need to fill up some more of this area I think that's what I'm going to focus on the next episode is actually just filling in with space, you know? All right, I got to pick up all this dirt, and then I'm going to finish the legs. Okay, so I start recording, and next thing I know, my game's about to crash. Jesus Christ, it is lagging. All right, well, I finished the construction on the legs of the water tower. This is what I have so far. Why am I lagging so much? It's not taking any water, is it? Okay, so I'm not lagging, not lagging. Look at the water tower. Oh, it's lagging. Okay. Either way, I finished construction on the legs of the water tower. This is what I have so far. And so these things right here, taking the water up, taking the water down, and then surrounding it is the water tower itself. I think it's a nice little addition. I'll probably have to add some more around here. Add some, you know... I don't know, some furniture, some roads, some nice looking things. I think a road probably would help this out though. Probably help it out a lot. You know, to guide some flow and stuff. Yeah, this is what we have. And if I wanted to, I could shut the valve off. Same thing over here, shut this valve off. No longer taking in water, no longer taking it out. And then, since this is full, I think all I'm just going to do is that. But I will leave it here just in case I want to move it back. But yeah, there we go. Here's the water tower. An actual functioning real water tower. I need to probably get a better angle. Also, I got to get a screenshot for them now. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like watching this content, make sure you like, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. Do everything every YouTuber always tells you to do. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Almost in the last video. No, the next video. But yeah. See you guys later.